Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to design your own envelopes. So let me give you an example. So this is my design here. Of course, if you glue it shut, it's a regular envelope. If you don't glue it shut, you can tuck it into a pocket and then let somebody open it and have writing space. And then also I'm going to be showing you in some upcoming videos um, a few more ideas that you can do with this very exact template. So we're going to design our template and then um, from there you can take it and make your own envelopes. So I've got my cardstock. It's a, kind of a lightweight cardstock. If you have thicker cardstock, use it, but fold it in half. And then we're going to start by um, taking our ruler and measuring two and one one half. Sorry, I'm looking at my notes over here. <laughs> so I'm going to at two and a half. We're going to draw a line and my folds right here. Okay. So we're going to draw a line there. And then we're going to go at one and three fourths from the from our two and a half line. We're going to go to one and three fourths. So that's right there. Okay, we learn energy move. It's sticking to my table. I think I need to clean my table. So there's our one and three fourths line. Okay, from there, we're gonna take our ruler and measure down to. Well, first of all, we want to cut off an eighth of an inch at the top and an eighth of an inch at the bottom. So let's go ahead and do that. So right about there. Eighth of an inch. Just make sure I'm still on camera. Okay. So an eighth of an inch. Oops. My ruler shifted. Eighth of an inch there. And then from there, we want to go at the top of our page. We're going to go down three inches from our eighth of an inch line. Okay, so there's our three inch mark. And then the next line is it's supposed to be three and a fourth. It looks <laughs> slightly smaller on my dill. So what I'm going to do is try to make this as easy as possible. So I'm gonna measure three and a fourth from here to here. I'm going to mark a line there. And then we're going to come over to this edge, measuring three and a fourth and marking a line there so that we can connect those lines. Okay, making sure I'm even. So there's our three and a fourth inch. And then we're, we're left with two inches here. Okay, so flipping this back around, this is our top. Okay, our page is folding out this way. This is our top, um, and we're going to measure one inch from here to here. Okay, and then we're going to go over one fourth of an inch from here to here. And then what these lines are for is for us making our um, flap. So we're going to connect those lines at an angle there, and that's our flap. So then the next part is we're going to come way over here, and we're going to measure up two inches. Is that correct? No, that's not. Yeah, yeah, that's correct. Okay, let's go ahead and do that at two inches and then so we're gonna make a line there. Let's see here, what's the next one? I don't think I marked it on my page. Okay, that's what I thought. It's gonna be an inch. So we're gonna do an inch here. Okay, and then we're gonna go in at a fourth of an inch right here. And then in 
Nope, that's it, okay. So from this corner to this uh, two inch line that we made, we're gonna draw a line. And then from our fourth of an inch dot here to our one inch dot, we're gonna draw a line. Okay, so that's our side flaps there. Now we gotta do the bottom piece. And so we're gonna measure in one and a fourth inch. So one and a fourth is there. And then we need to go fourth of an inch down here. And so from these two, we're going to draw a line. And that gives us our bottom flap there. Okay, let me just check something real quick here. Yeah, okay, that's correct. So what I did with mine is I wanted to kind of round this off, but not completely, so I just kind of drew a line here. You can see that. So instead of cutting it at that, you know, right in here, I'm going to cut it here. That just kind of rounds it off a little bit and makes it look a little bit more like an envelope. So um, once you've gotten to this point, you're going to cut, you know, here. I'm going to kind of show you. You're going to cut along here, 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 and then there. Okay, and so this is what it's going to look like. So set that down. This is what it should look like once you've cut it out. And if you want to put clips on the edges of your page, here, here, and here, so that um, it doesn't shift around on you as you're cutting out your template. But then what you have left is this. So now you can take this and trace it on any paper that you want. I have wallpaper here that I traced it on. Um, I traced it on brown paper bag, um, cardstock, book page, you know, anything that you want. You're just gonna trace it and then cut it out and that's your envelope. You know, you fold these flaps over and you'll put some glue here, 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 and here. And then you're gonna put glue along this edge and along this edge. You fold it up and you'll have your envelope. And that's it. So I'm gonna show you, stop this video here and then I'm gonna start another video showing you some other ideas with these um, envelopes, templates, and uh, the envelopes that you'll be making. So thanks so much for watching guys. I hope this video was helpful and informative and not confusing. Um, if you did enjoy it, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up, which helps me out a lot. And um, I hope you're having a grateful day. Bye, guys.